competition is um, is healthy in a way. You know, it's a, it's a good reminder of who where you stand really, like because it's pretty easy to be you know in your own bubble and having people telling you how great you are. I think it's good to go up on the face and have uh, people from all over the world and you all have the same chances. It's brought me a lot. I think it's made me a way better snowboarder than I could have been without it, that's for sure. When I started snowboarding, I I tried. You know, at the time we did everything. We did a bit of park. We did a uh, alpine riding. We did uh, well. Then later, when border cross came, we did that. You know, I was working hard in school, and yeah, snowboarding was just a side thing. And I never thought that I could ever be a pro. But then, yeah, when I was 17 or 18, I followed my instincts, I guess. But yeah, it's been the best decision I've ever made. <laughs> I think it took me quite a while to realize what kind of snowboarding was my snowboarding and uh, I remember my first year on the Freeride World Tour seeing all these skiers coming and sending these lines in those places where I didn't even think there could be a line. Uh, I rode fast the first year and everyone was telling me, oh you're crazy, you cannot ride like this in Big Mountain, this is dangerous. And it took me a while to spend a lot of time into the mountains to realize, no, I ride fast, that's the way I feel comfortable. And, uh, and I think that's when I started winning. And like the key in big mountain riding is to know what you can do and know what you can't. And uh, it's really important to have someone really solid uh, that rides with you and that pushes you. Dad, no more 360. You always doing the same trick. It's embarrassing me. How about that line over there? You see like under the ridge, there's this mini couloir. Yeah, yeah. There's a tiny jump in the middle. Yeah. What do you think about it? Only if you go straight. You think it's okay if I go straight? Yeah. I've always had that vision of a good snowboarder could be able to ride anything. And I think that someone that would have had the same past and kind of training that I've had would feel the same. Like to me, border cross is the perfect school for that. It makes you tough in the head and it makes you tough and solid on your board. And I think those skills really help me to push it and to feel really at ease in the mountains. Filmmaking, you know, it's more an evolution of uh, you know, my vision of snowboarding. It's not like competing or filming, there's not one that's better than the other. I think the whole filming thing is a long-term process. It's like a full season where you really work hard, you try to explore uh, new areas, new spots, you work with people. It's pretty intense moments as well, a bit like the competition when it's, you know, when the good day happens, when it's bluebird, big pow, but when you're at the top of your line, it's uh, pretty much as intense as a competition could be. You feel like hell, and even after 10 years, if the, after 15 years, but you need to realize as a rider that everyone feels the same. A lot of people ask me all the time, you know, do you like it really? And do you enjoy it? Or, or, or even a lot of people think that every run is just like, woo, yeah, it's so good. But no, it's just freaking scary all the time. It's just uh, really hard to, to cope with, uh, with all that pressure. I think my biggest pleasure with the whole thing is to be able to, to show a film maybe to, to my grandma or to someone that doesn't have any idea of snowboarding and, and see them, you know, like see the spark in their eyes because, I, I don't know, a power turn, someone charging down a mountain is kind of a, there's something really powerful into it. And it's nice, it's a great way to, to share it, you know. Over the years, I have spent seasons where I barely rode for myself. And yeah, right now, I end up like going with my daughter. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> she's freaking crazy. She's just going for it. And yeah, I'm a super proud father, I have to say. <laughs> when I see her, I'm oh, so happy. Yeah, 
If I look back, uh, like 20 years back, all oh, what snowboarding has made me do, realize about myself, about life, about you know, limit, about life and death, about so many things. That to me, snowboarding is, uh, I don't know, it's a huge thing. It's a whole life, you know. It's a tool to uh, to know myself better and to to discover life in a way. Yeah, that's what it's been to me at least. Yeah. All right, let's go.